Being in covenant relationship with God positively affects our mental health. See, God is three parts, Father, Son, and Spirit, and He made man's vessel three parts, body, soul, and spirit. The body consists of gateways through the five senses, and information is taken into the emotional realm, the soul, and responses are projected from the soul to the physical body, where there's input and output of information. The body's components, such as the blood flow, are affected by the input and the output of information. The body contains the physical heart and the brain, but the soul stores memories, emotions, and thoughts. Neuropaths are made in the brain from repeated behaviors. For example, if someone is told repeatedly, you're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid, the soul develops a belief system from the ear gate. However, when we accept Christ, his spirit lives within us, and we have his word that tells us who we are in Christ. It exposes lies, and when we are in alignment with his word, we can better control our responses to emotions and thoughts. And if we are not in relationship with God in all three areas, body, soul, and spirit, there is a covenant breach, and we put ourselves in jeopardy of reacting out of God's will. The questions in this section ask the participant to align one of the three parts of God to one of the three parts of man and describe how knowing God as father, friend, and or teacher affects a specific element of man's body, soul, or spirit. For example, one might ask, how does having a covenant relationship with God, my father, affect my mind? Well, it changes my thoughts. Therefore, I could say, being in covenant relationship with God, my Father, affects my soul, and that His Word gives me a sound mind with true thoughts of who I am in Christ. Being in covenant relationship positively affects our body, soul, and spirit. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says, I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be, pres be preserved blameless, unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, the word separates the three so that we can clearly see how each one is affected. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God, the covenant, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul, spirit, and of the joints and marrow, the body. And it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the hearts. So there's a nice little graph here to show you the, the separation of the body, soul, and spirit. And the soul and the spirit lives forever. And our heart consists of our soul and spirit. See, our heart connects and joins our soul and spirit. The body is the gateway. The five senses are the gateway to the body. The input, the output. The blood flow changes when we uh, have the gateway uh, in operation. What we see, what we hear what we're tasting, what we touch, uh, what we feel. And so those, uh, that input and output from those five senses affect the emotions, the mind, the will, and the soul where memories are stored. But when we are in covenant with God, we have faith, we have purpose, we have communion with God in our spirit. We can align our soul and our heart with his heart. Uh, the Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So this is where we need to come into connection with the covenant. In the heavenly temple, there is an ark of covenant. There is an ark of testament in the revelations. The last ark in the Bible, in Revelations, is the Ark of Testament, an Ark of His Word. See, just as Moses and Noah found safety in the Ark, and they experienced the presence and the glory of God, we also have safety, deliverance, salvation, the presence and the glory of God when we are in covenant relationship with Him. And we remain in the Ark of Testament, His Word, the Bible. So there are some uh, remaining Bible study questions at the end here. Imagining that God is your father, your friend, and your teacher, and you're in a covenant relationship with him. 
and then inserting um, and aligning your your three areas, the body, soul, and spirit, to his three areas, the Father, Son, and Spirit. And writing a, a sentence on how his three parts affects your three parts. For example, being in covenant relationship with God, my Father, affects my soul, and that his word gives me a sound mind with true thoughts of who I am in Christ. So have you entered into a covenant relationship with God? If not, why not? If so, when? If you have not entered into a covenant relationship and you would like to do so, or like information on how to do so, you can contact me at diana at masteringmentalhealth.com.